parameterization. Let's investigate first the need for parameterization. In a sample script, while booking the flight, we chose seating preference as IL. In real life scenario, users will choose different preferences. To make a test as close as possible to a real life scenario, we need parameterization. So let's look at the advantages here. Parameterization provides the ability to test your script with different values. And second thing, it reduces the size of the script since it makes your script dynamic. Now let's look at the steps that need to be performed in order to parameterize. Step number one, replace the constant values in vUserScript script with parameters. Step number two, settings the properties and data sources for the parameters so different values can be selected at runtime. Now let's go ahead and parameterize the seeding preference option in our script. Just for a note, we are working on the same script that we have recorded in the earlier tutorials. I am in the tree view right now. I double click on the submit form reservation.pl icon. A step property dialog box opens. Basically, this box gives you the various data sources and their values. In order to parameterize any of the values, in our case, we'll go ahead with the seeding preference. Click on the ABC icon. Here, you can specify a valid parameter name. Seeding preference. I have an option to choose multiple parameter types. It could be a load generator name, a random number, maybe something coming from a table, a unique user defined function, and so on. Most of the times, you'll select the parameter type file. Step number two it is to set the data sources. For that, you need to click on properties. If you select parameter of the type date and time, you can select the multiple formats in which the date can appear in. If you select the parameter type to be a random number, you can specify the minimum and the maximum number between which a random number would be generated also the number format. If you want your parameter to come from a user defined function, you can specify the name of the function and the library file from which it is coming. If you select your parameter to be coming from a file, you could create a table. A pop-up is shown which creates a dot dat file in a default location. Click OK. The default value is populated here. To add more values, click the add row button. Enter another valid seating preference that is window. Add row again. Enter another seating preference as none. These are the three valid seating preferences. Here in this section, you can mention the selection criteria. It could be either sequential or maybe random. Let me select random. Close the script. Click OK. In the dialog box, I, I can very well see the seating preference is parameterized. I click OK. I run the script now. The script is replaying right now. If I check the replay log, you send across as IL. Let me run the script again. In the replay log, I check the seeding and the value sent is window. 